Fabulous. My name is Chui Julia if you're new here and today we're going to be talking about hair products and tools and general hair practices that I've stopped using on my hair since my hair started thinning. So you are welcome to my channel. It's gonna be I, I can't tell if it's gonna be a long video but I just <laughs> but I'm gonna be just sharing with you all honestly like things that you also need to stop doing just in case okay because some of these are natural hair mitts that I I didn't know I incorporated into my hair and then it's also it could also be part of the cause of why my hair is thinning so if you follow this channel then you should already know that my natural hair is thinning but if you don't know I do have a full video on my natural hair thinning story that's on my channel and also I do have my routine what I'm currently using on my hair and doing to my hair in this video as well in case I haven't uploaded the video about this hair it's actually a wig but then more on that uh, if I have I will link it in the description box if I haven't then more on that later all right so the first thing I've stopped doing is using this detangling brush it's like the most popular in the natural hair community it's got different names and i know it as the game changer brush because the brand that first sent it to me you know, titled it titled it as the game changer brush and before i started using the game changer brush all through the all up until then that's up until about uh, 2019 i had only been using finger detangling most of the time so it was strictly finger detangling for my hair and then I decided to try this game changer brush. Initially, I did like how it felt. I did like that, you know, I, I, it, it seemed like it was gliding through my hair and, you know, there was less breakage, less shedding. But then what I eventually found out is that finger detangled hair, because you can feel every knot and every tangle in your hair and you're carefully removing it, will always be thicker. Yes, thicker than hair that is brushed with a comb so don't come for me this is just the basic truth that hair that's finger detangled will always be thicker than hair that is combed through or detangled with a brush or a comb my next point is styling my hair often and as you all know that as a content creator that primarily shares content on natural hair care my hands are in my hair a lot because I have to make videos every week. So styling my hair often has definitely been a, a great contributor to the stress of my hair. So inevitably that has had its own effects in the long run. So I definitely wouldn't be putting any hairstyling videos up anytime soon. And even if I do, it would be like more of, it wouldn't, I don't know. But I wouldn't really, I, I know that for now, hairstyling videos are suspended, unfortunately, which was what made me start YouTube in the first place, my hairstyles. And I, in the interim, I'll be making new videos and new content for you all, and I hope you all like that. So just in case you see like a video on skincare, then you know that <laughs> our trajectory is gonna be changing a little bit while my hair recuperates. So yeah, styling my hair too often has definitely been a great contributor to causing a lot of stress and damage to my hair strands so i i do advise that don't do this please don't do that don't don't <laughs> okay so moving on from point two my next point is leaving your hairstyle in for too long this is a bad idea and this could be like any type of bonds if it's high bonds if it's low bonds whatever hairstyle it is even if it's like mickey mouse puffs don't leave your hairstyle in for more than five days the point where your elastic band hair scrunchie hair tools bobby pins whatever it is that's in your hair what whichever part of the hair strand it's in for that long will incur hair breakage in the long run so i do advise that you please don't do what I did by leaving my hair in hairstyles for seven days and more. I can leave my hair in a bun, like forget it. But then what I do suggest is that 
rather than leaving your hair in the hairstyle then you take the bun down like the tight scrunchie that you use to make your bun i know for you all that like sleek styles this is really inconvenient but then if it's just like a bun that you can take down i do suggest that you take down the hand down or you take the scrunchie down or whatever you used on your hair you take it out during night time and then just wrap your hair with a satin scarf and you'll be fine so and you'll be fine like you don't have to worry about any parts of your hair getting brittle over time so that is like an advice for not just me but for every one of you who might be doing this and not knowing that you're actually damaging your hair in the long run so my number four tip is dreading wash days and putting it as far off as possible now this is by far probably the biggest mistake that i made because when you have for me i just felt like i had had my natural hair for about this is my ninth year being natural i'm gonna be 10 years natural next year so I had my, by five years, I had gotten to like tailbone length and I was satisfied, I was happy I'd reached my hair goals. And I decided to like not care for my hair as much. So I had a basic routine where I wouldn't do as much I used to do before. I wouldn't moisturize daily. I wouldn't put my hair in protective styles. I wouldn't wash my hair regularly. I would probably wash my hair once a month or once in two months that is bad okay that is bad for your hair because our hair thrives in moisture and unless your hair is regularly you know your scalp is regularly cleansed how can you have a healthy scalp that will help you grow healthy hair it makes no sense <laughs> so why would i be putting off my wash days to once a month and once in two months no that doesn't work so please the, and you have to also understand that the day that your hair gets the most moisture is doing wash days so please don't put off your wash days off like me don't do that make sure that you wash if you have low porosity hair wash your hair every week if you can if you've got short hair definitely wash your hair every week if you can that's the recommended you know that's the recommended that's the recommended routine that you should be doing for healthy hair but then if you have if it's not convenient for you and if you have longer hair then i do suggest that you like me i would be washing my hair every two weeks so but don't feel like it's cumbersome don't feel like you know this is like a lot of work because we, you have to put in the work to see results just like exercising you have to exercise to get that toned body to lose weight just you need to do it anyway like why just avoid it so just try to create time i'm a mother so i know what it is to not have time to be a working mom i know what it is to just be busy all the time so but you have to make time for what is important to you even if that we've been conditioned to seem that it's a lot of work but just Take it as self-care time. Take it as a time out for yourself, you know, to relax while you know, watching Netflix or something or just hanging out with family while you're doing that. Well, intimate family, obviously not like at family gatherings. <laughs> but like, just take time out and take care of yourself. It's important that at the end of the day, you take time out to take care of yourself. I hope that these things that I've shared with you that have inadvertently damaged my hair over the time will save your hair from the same. So I am constantly looking out for you guys and I pray the best for you all. So what I wish for myself, I wish for all of you. I hope you're happy. I hope you're blessed. You seek God in all your ways and in all that you do and you know, allow him to direct your paths and it is well with you. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to live well and live great and pray always. God loves you and God bless you. Take care, lovelies. Alright, bye.